guys have been following the videos, you guys would know that not just the front end has been done, okay? I also did a big TDO6 turbo on this thing, 1000 cc injectors, Walbro 255 fuel pump and an HKS blow off valve. This thing's gonna sound sick and it's gonna look cool. Today is the day, I believe so. If all goes well, then this car right here will be the car that is tuned and I can drive this thing home hopefully 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 anyways i come to the shop to see what the heck is this what did dylan do so he bought these crazy wheels with a nine and a half inch lip and i don't blame him because these were an amazing deal but he cut up his flares oh no let's check this side out oh, okay this side's a lot better we have a beautiful sunny day in washington and i need to give the Mercedes a brake. So this thing does need to get tuned. I really want to drive this car. I really, I really do, honestly. So right now my good buddy Tyler with a real Evo should be pulling up any minute now. Uh, I can't wait to compare them side by side. All right, he just pulled up. This thing is insane. It has a bumper dump exhaust, but you can see, look at that body. They kind of look pretty similar. I love that Evos can run rain guards. Wow, look at that. Oh my goodness. Dude, this thing is so loud. All right, so Wally just got here. He's taking it out to go tune it right now. I didn't want to go with him because I'm honestly kind of scared, but wow, it's driving. That's crazy. Next to Tyler's Evo, wow smoking a little bit but he'll fix that there it goes wow ah! so wally went on the first uh, straightaway and took a couple ribs right here and um it was leaking on a coolant line we fixed that but this thing rips apparently he's running it at 20 pounds of boost uh which is which is more than i expected to be honest Butter boy. You can definitely see underneath that side skirt. Yeah, I told you that. Alright, so we got a lot of progress done on this thing. I'm so stoked. The tune went good. Um, so I guess it's pushing 20 pounds of boost now that I have the thousand cc injectors on. The bumper's off because the lip was falling against the ground. <laughs> So we found an oil leak I have to fix. Uh, it could be the drain for the oil from the turbo or it could be my power steering rack. Uh, if you guys have been watching this whole series, you guys would know that this thing has always had power steering line issues. I don't know if I have to replace the wrap. Oh my goodness. But I can drive it as soon as I fix that leak. Uh, it's probably the power steering rack. I'm hoping that it's that uh, because the turbo down drain, um, I would need to pull the whole turbo to replace or fix that. So. That color right now is absolutely bonkers. Wow. That's a cool looking car, guys. Well, it was cool looking. Uh, it was good while it lasted. Sad thing is, is that I didn't get to drive it before the bad things happened. So I mentioned that um, the power steering line was m m hopefully the culprit of uh, why it was leaking after the tune. But I've been sadly mistaken. From further inspection, I'm actually so happy because I could have blown this up. And actually, I'm not too happy because I'm not 100% sure that I didn't run this out of oil too far enough for it to blow up. Because the huge pile of oil and all this oil coming from right here all the way to the road was actually a bursted hose from my turbo oil drain which is a no-go because that is a just a faucet of oil coming out of my turbo to the ground and to other hot stuff that can definitely catch fire. I had to take the side skirt off to jack it up, but darn, it sucks that that is it because I would rather replace any line on this engine. That line right there, that hose for the turbo drain is completely underneath the turbo. I wouldn't even be able to show you guys if I could with the camera. Um, I can't even see it when I'm messing with it. So how I found it out was I reached my hand under there, felt the line, and it was just completely ripped in half. You can probably see the line. Oh, yeah, right here. So 
right there it's just completely ripped and it's just ugly so i'm going to replace that whole line hopefully it's easy for it to come out it looks like it just pops in right there and then i'm going to loosen up the mounts for the up pipe so i can move the turbo slightly this way because the problem is that it's pinching the engine side of it and as long as that hose is being pinched from the turbo and the engine then it'll always keep breaking so um and the whole problem with this whole situation is that my up pipe is like an ebay up pipe i didn't buy it it was like one of the only mods that were on this car when i bought it the way it goes from the headers to the turbo um, is just some weird angle to where it makes the turbo sit a little bit closer that way towards the engine and transmission we got the wrx backed up got the front mount inner cooler in there and it looks a hundred times better but the low lighting with the lights off back here wow just wow here we go we got straight down to business with this thing and honestly i didn't want to do the whole pulling the turbo stuff but i mean i pulled the turbo in like 30 minutes and um it would have took me hours to get this line on so like i was explaining earlier first i'll show you with the up pipe on why it's sitting so close to the engine you can see that just like the how close that is like you got to think it bolts right here and then the turbo and then the water line has to hang out after that but like there's so much play in this thing that like i need it to be all the way over here for me to clear that and this is with the whole up pipe loose so the way it was sitting you can see that where it was leaking from not that hose but a different hose was off of this oil drain um hose and it was rubbing so hard through the silicone that it was actually rubbing into the metal right there got the intercooler off too so this was my old oil drain uh hose and look at it like this is where it connected to the engine and it was just cut up there's two zip ties on it i'm not sure if those are factory i assume they're not because of the way this was cut up but this new turbo definitely deserves something better than this raggedy so i'm gonna take this to cost less and then we're gonna get a new one so we got the new line Here's the excess of the line because I went down to business and I already got the new line on. So we got the turbo in, the inlet, uh, the hose is on, the water hose and the oil hose. Um, I'm waiting for the oil uh, feed to dry. I put a little red RTV on there on my washer. So I'm gonna wait for that to dry. Give it another like five minutes and I'll tighten that down. And the only thing we have left to put on is the intercooler. So we could do that right now. Let's pop that intercooler back on. And uh, I think we should be good. So we got everything on. Uh, intercooler, up pipes back on. O2 sensors back in. And we're going to do the first start. Hopefully there's no exhaust leaks. Whew. All right. And let's hope that we're not throwing a rod. Well, that sounds a lot better. I got a lot of oil and stuff on this, so I'm sure it's gonna smoke a little bit. It's smoking a little bit because I got coolant everywhere from uh, when I pulled the turbo, and coolant instantly vaporizes, so I assume all this should burn off pretty quick. I'm just gonna check for leaks. I don't see anything. Kinda sounds like I might have an exhaust leak. I'm not sure though. That is oil. And this car was running about 45 minutes ago. And now the turbo intercooler, everything's off again because of this little guy. So I had to cut this and weld it uh, at an angle because my new turbo is pushing up against the, the engine. And so one of the welds failed right there. And so we're gonna try to repair this with a real welder so me to actually do it right this time. And hopefully it goes good. I just got to pick up a new gasket. Um, but yeah, I'm going to end this video off here. I did finish the car. Still haven't driven it yet. Side skirt's off because I've been jacking it up. But I'm super stoked still on how it, how it uh, came out. I'm really happy. I just want to drive this thing so bad. So we shall get this on and we shall persevere. And we will drive this in the next video. Peace.